You are back here on Park City Television, but by here, I don't mean in studio. No, that's right. We've taken it on the road today and we are at the home of Stacy Springer. It's Einstein's Kitchen. It is. This is great. I love that you're I here. I love it. Well, it's fun because you've got a proper kitchen. Thank you. We like to think that we have something you can cook on yes. at our studio. And we yeah. have some magic ovens and cool you things. We do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Magical. But I think I like a real oven better. Yeah. And I love cooking with some gas. This is everything you need to do things properly yeah. right here. It's pretty cool. It's fun. It's fun when you have utensils that make it a little bit easier. Indeed. Yeah. This is where you do your classes, right? It is. So yeah. talk to me about that. You've got a lot of we get a lot of counter space here. I do. In fact, we've got two counters this size. Yes. Right here for people to work. So when you're instructing, you can spread people out. They've got room to do to, to do some chopping. They do. To do some dicing. Yeah. To do some mincing. Whatever the case <laughs> is, right? Yeah, just keep going. Yeah. yeah. Everything. You like that? Yeah. All those words all sound those good to you. Yeah, I keep it pretty small actually though, even though we yeah. do have a lot of space. Okay. So I really want people hands on because that's yeah. how you learn. Right? They gotta it's, be able to see. They gotta see and, and, and do. do it with their hands. Yeah, I'm yeah. a hands-on learner. I, most so of what, us are, really, yeah. yeah. And so, especially with cooking, you have to, to have all the senses involved to really get excited about the food, because watching it is fun, but experiencing it yeah. and then getting to eat it at the end. Well, ooh, there's that's a lot better. of experiences here. There's smells, there's mm -hmm. sights, there's sounds even, yeah. little beeps and different things, stuff's done. I like yeah. that. It's yeah. a lot of fun. It is fun. All right, yeah. well, it's a good time, and you're instructing me today. This is kind of cool. Yes. I'm getting my hands dirty, and I do mean it. I had I had turkey hands earlier. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you got to hold them like this, yeah. turkey hands. Because you got to wash those. you got to stay safe, So right? we've been really good at washing. Yes. So, yes, we're clean hands and starting new. And we've even been good about changing out our cutting boards for, you know, we've got a meat yep. cutting board, we've got vegetable cutting boards, all the things to, to keep everybody served safe. Absolutely. Yeah? Yes, that's okay. important because it's not fun to be sick when you're no. enjoying your food. <laughs> Indeed, especially Later. over a holiday. Yes, yeah. we don't want that. So yeah. So we're preparing things for a holiday. So right now in our oven, we've got we've got a turkey in the oven. We got turkey, and it's ready to turn. And we're gonna do that in a minute. Yeah. Then we've also got uh, we've, we've got some squash in the we oven, do. and mm -hmm. it's getting ready for a squash pie. Yes. I can't wait to try that. Yeah. Then we also have some dressing in the mm -hmm. oven. So we got a lot of things cooking right now. Yes. This would be a lot for somebody to do on things uh, on on a holiday, Thanksgiving or whatever or whatever the case is. You want to spread some of these things out where you can, right? Yeah, you can absolutely. Okay. Although if you just want to, but like you know, us, we could do it all and watch football game while you're doing it. Sure, you can do that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So speaking of marathoning, time yes. to get that turkey out yeah. right now. It's we don't been, want it to get any browner than it is. Right. It's been 45 minutes, okay. high heat, about 400 degrees. We're ready for a We're turn because okay. we've been protecting that meat. Excellent. All right. So opening the oven, walking over here safely, gently. <laughs> Making sure you have a place to put your turkey is right? also good. <laughs> and I do, right? <laughs> you do. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Oh, man. It looks yeah. so good. I love this. The pepper good. looks good. The salt, all of it looks good. Can you imagine what the other side's going to look like? Oh, man. <laughs> so that's what it's time to do now. It's time yeah. to flip it. So inside here, just to remind you, uh, we've got apples inside both of these we cavities do. here to try to keep the inside moist, right? Yes. All right. Okay. So gently, without spilling the apples, I've got to get this turkey. Without burning yourself, Yeah, without too. burning myself on those you edges. Can, you can do this with tongs, but I find this is a little bit easier. I'm going to do a little preparation move there. Okay, good job. And then I'm just going to go ahead. Ow, a little burn, a little burn. See, you're not a real cook unless you get burned. Okay. Good job! So I got it over. And you didn't lose the apples. Ooh, I don't want to break the leg either. Oh. Okay. Can you see, like, meat gets really small and it, like, gets really tight? <laughs> yeah. So, like, one of the worst things people do is they cut meat when it's getting really, like, in the middle of cooking, like, steaks. Oh, yeah. That's and not so good. Right you need now, to let it rest. It needs to rest. Right? Yeah. Obviously, we're not ready for that. We're, we're like, we're going to keep cooking. Halfway through. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to salt and pepper because we remember we yep. stuck butter already. We're already right. buttered. Okay. Right? So, and no more butter. We don't need to add any more. We don't have to. We can check it. If it's not getting brown enough for us later, okay. we can add some more. Excellent. We can baste it with our juices. Okay. How's our juices? We're, so we're, we're got uh, about a quarter inch down there at the bottom. Is that enough? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Okay. So we're going back in the oven? Back in the oven. Okay, Tom, you're going back in. Again, the temperature stays the same? Temperature stays the same. If it's getting a little too brown, you can cover it with foil. Okay. Like a little or tent? Uh-huh. little foil tent? Perfect. Ta-da. Nice work. Sorry about the burn, but you hey, know what? Hey, no big deal. You're super legit now. Yeah, because a real cook is going to get burned every yeah, now and then. All the time. I actually never cut, my, cut myself in school, burn myself all the time. Yeah? 
Okay. I'd rather have a burn than a cut. I, I agree. I agree. Less bloody. <laughs> so speaking of that, let's go play with let's knives. Let's go cut. Now. Yeah, let's go cut. <laughs> it's perfect timing. Okay. So we're talking about gravy yeah. in, our, in our, our gateway. Yes. <laughs> so gateway to gravy is good mashed potatoes. It's good mashed potatoes. Okay. Yeah. Mashed potatoes can take some time, right? Yeah. Especially so, if you chop them very large. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what I like to do is use a pressure cooker. I like that. So that's so, this right here. This is awesome pressure cooker. We're not canning. Most people think it's canning or you're going to explode and it's going to like shoot. Not in with the air. these. This thing is serious seal. It's like three lockdown. Like yeah. you are safe. Right. This, am I doing this right? Just no. for practice? No. So okay. there's a, there's how, a how do line. I know? How do I know they're lined up? Line right here. Line right here. Really? And you just kinda, huh? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. And then, then you turn. turn it. Yeah. Good okay. job. And then we push this up That's and the then lock. we turn it. So it keeps pressure in here. And then when we're ready to be done, we release it this way and let the steam out. And uh -uh. there's a little picture. If you're like, I'm not sure. Yeah, and just in case you need you. to know what you're doing right here. So what okay. we're looking for is when we add all of our uh, food in here, we mm -hmm. want this indicator to pop up. That's when we start our time. Okay. I don't really time anything else in cooking, but pressure cooker, you go by time. You use those little yeah. pop-ups. This is gonna be eight minutes. Okay. Done potatoes, eight minutes. So this is the release? Yes, release, and if it's not ready, it won't let you open it. You, you can't, cannot really open cannot it. hurt yourself. Okay. So you have to release the steam first and then. So maybe it's not as challenging as everybody thinks. No. Pressure cooking. It's great. Okay. And it infuses incredible flavor and that's the other reason I love it. Ooh, okay. I like that idea. So one other thing that I do with my potatoes is I mix them. I mix some new potatoes and a russet potato. Ooh, okay. What? That's crazy. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, uh, variety is the spice of life, right? Absolutely. So, so then- Even in potatoes. I love to have the skins on because it, it makes it feel authentic and, and real. Okay. Because you want real potatoes, right? Yeah, like I was saying, you gotta have lumps. Yeah. You gotta have a little skin too. But I don't really love the russet potato skins. They're a little bit hard. Yeah. And so but these the red, ones, they're, they're good. They're nice and waxy. Yeah, they're great, okay? okay? So we're just gonna cube these. Um, so we want them about the same size, right? We talked yeah. about- because same if we size. want to talk cooking time, that means pieces are the same size. Exactly. Okay, even so cooking. So I'm yep. going to do this new potato, and I just I kind of quarter, quarter it, it here. Okay. Yeah. Just like this, okay? That's easy. <gasps> you want to do it now? Yeah, can yeah. I? Okay. Absolutely. Give me that knife. All right. We All already right. talked about the method of holding your knife. Yeah, did I do it right? You did. You did okay. great. Okay. Just and make I like sure. how you went through the bridge. Or Under built the bridge the, over build the bridge. it. Yeah, double yeah. through the bridge. <laughs> That's something different altogether. That would hurt. Yes. And uh, so di various different ways that we do this. Normally yeah. we'd want that flat side down, huh? I did it round. You did. That's not so you did. smart. But you know what I did too, but I... Um, but that's the, we, that's the that's way you notice. get cut. Absolutely. So yeah? flat side down is the safest way to do it. And okay. we'll do it on this one. And keeping those knuckles out mm -hmm. and the fingers back. Perfect. Right? Okay, yeah. Kay. And we can go in the pot. Okay, straight in the, the pot. pot. Yep. And in the pot with you. The great thing about the pressure cooker is we need like two cups of water for all of this. Wow, that's Where all. Where the other thing, you're boiling and you have to have it over and it's boiling over. Right? And you lose some of your potato in the boil, right? Right. Yes, absolutely. It seems like that happens a lot. All right. So, so down I, the middle? Uh-huh, exactly. I do okay. straight down the middle and then I put it on the flat side like you were just talking about. Okay. Now, I noticed that you like to use the table to your advantage. Sometimes I see you do Did that. You see me do is that, that okay? Because I'm a tiny little woman. <laughs> Whatever. Because, but, yeah. She's something. so tough. <laughs> I okay. Have, I have three big brothers. So down yeah. the middle again? Uh-huh. Okay. Good job. I feel like you were watching and paying attention. I tried to. Good job. And then the goal is to make them about the same size as the other ones. Yeah. So, so go ahead there. Yep. Perfect. Good job. Perfect. Yep. Okay. All of it goes right in. Okay. So potatoes don't have a lot of flavor, right? This is true. Notice? So we need to put quite a bit of salt in the water and we're going to add some other things too, to add flavor to it. All right. So when you're, people get a little freaked out when you put salt in water, that doesn't mean that you're putting salt in your food all the time, right? No, it yeah. actually helps flavor bloom in things. And it doesn't mean you're like every bit of salt you're putting in there, not, you're not ingesting. Right. Yeah. So don't okay. worry. No worries. All right. I'm going to add Dump the rest of these in. in. And notice how they're starting to get a little bit pink. Yeah. That's okay. It's just they're getting oxidized. They're getting yeah. Okay. So if you're so, faster than we are, because we were get that water playing on it quicker. and talking. Yes, we are. <laughs> Plenty of that. Okay. Yeah. Salt. Salt. I would say for this amount, really almost like a half of a tablespoon. Really? Yeah. So a couple of ways I could do that. I could do mm -hmm. it right into my hand, right? Yep. And I'm just getting a clove of garlic ready. I'm going to throw a few in there and I'm just mashing it with my... So about a, ha a it's about a half a tablespoon. Yeah, can you see there? So yeah. that's pretty close. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And then 
remember seasoning and layers. Okay, uh -huh. so if we we don't do enough, we have an we opportunity later. later when we taste it. Okay, okay throw my gloves, my pepper. gloves of garlic in. Your gloves of garlic. <laughs> yes, okay. pepper, if you want. I love pepper. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. All right. Ah. Uh, Rosemary. I love that. Throw that Just in right there. In. Okay. Just right in. Okay, that's it. That's it? That's it. We're going to put our Gosh. lid on. So the water level is like, I mean, not even close to the top of these potatoes. I know. It's no big deal. Pressure in this is incredible. So normally boiling okay. is what, 212, 210 yeah. for boiling. This brings it up to 250, so everything cooks a lot quicker and infuses the flavor. You're not losing it through the steam. Okay. Okay. I feel like we're not Am I not doing it right? You just, you know, you went at an angle. It's all learning. There we go. You're I good. got it? Yeah. Solid? I think so. Wait. Maybe. Okay. Now go. I needed you to fill okay. the end, to fill the accomplishment. Which numbers? Two is the highest. Really, the only thing we're going to want with one is mm -hmm. something really gentle like fish. Oh, okay. So, we, we yeah. Pressure cook fish, really. Yeah. That's okay. a whole other class. Yeah, I'll say it is. Up. Okay. Push all that the way to lock the front. in, and we're going to go to the stove. Okay. High heat. High okay. heat. High heat. So I'm going to stick that right here. So when you do the heat, you yeah. want it um, not up around the sides, but straight underneath as high as you can. So, so we want to make sure it's centered it perfect. and on the right one. Yes. Okay. Nice job, Joe. Yes. I'm loving this. I'm okay. learning every step of the way here. All right. So what goes with potatoes? It's the best part, the gravy. Yes, the gravy. But the part that is sort of hard about the gravy is that that's typically something we get to do at the very, very, very end. Mm -hmm. And it's the thing that sometimes we feel like we have to rush because everything else is cooked. Yeah. Now we're hurrying to get the gravy done. Right. You don't want to rush this if you can help it. Right. right? Exactly. So I'm so, going to show you a way to do it now. Okay. And it's going to be fine. So okay? we've already grabbed some juice. From yes, our turkey. yes, okay. So if you don't have the juice from the turkey, you yeah. can just use um, chicken stock, chicken right. broth, whatever. That works. Your, your bouillon cube, those are really salty, but it's, okay. it's doable, okay? Right. And then we need flour and butter. Okay. Okay. Because we're going to make a roux. We're going to make a roux. I remember this. You're so French. I love the roux because yes. th what that means is that we're going to do this nice and uh, in, in, layer, in stages, layers. Yes. Keep it from getting lumpy. Yes. Right? Yeah. Is that what that means? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happens is the butter, so the fat in that and the flour combine together. Okay. And then, then they accept the liquid and <laughs> accepting. Otherwise. Because otherwise it doesn't. It won't bind and with it. Which means we get those pieces, those sections that Yeah, they're are like flower lumps, yeah, little bombs. bombs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Flower bomb. And that's not delicious. Okay. And no. it's easy to fix. Okay. And the cool thing about this roux is that we can make the roux ahead of time and then just leave it to the side. You can even freeze it and pull you it out freeze later. Freeze a roux? Uh-huh. Isn't like that cool? Okay. So yeah, let's do it. All right, it. so we're okay, moving we're back go here over. to the stove. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so. First thing is the butter. First thing is the butter. So now there's stages, if I recall correctly. Yes. Yeah. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna see how much I remember. There's stages of cooking the butter, and there you do them by smell. You are really smart. Yes. Okay. This is what you've taught me so many times on our show. Uh huh. And I'm I, I'm just happy that I'm remembering. Me it. too. Okay. okay. Let's use it all, or let's use half of it. Half of it. Because. Okay. I'm glad you did that actually, because it okay. brought up this point. So how much how much liquid do we have? That matters. Otherwise, okay. it's going to be really. Um, so again, we need to do it in stages so we know how much we need. Exactly. So let's okay. see. So we'll do half of this. Half okay? of this. Okay. For, so we say about um, two cups just of do liquid. That. Does that, work? that is perfect. Thanks okay. for doing that. So that's we're going to do equal parts butter and flour. All right. I'm going to turn on my heat here. We have a whisk. We grab that I can whisk. Do that. And we're just going to let this melt down, and then we're going to add our equal parts. So that's half a cup, right? Okay. Okay. Yep. I anticipated that. That's how I knew that. I like it. So I'm uh, I'm I'm, try I'm going for a certain smell. And if I recall, yes. Okay. Yeah. There was a popcorn smell. Yeah. So the first one is like sugar cookies. Sugar cookies. And the longer, but this is obviously when it's together, flour and butter. Yes. Sugar cookies, then popcorn. Popcorn. And then, do you remember the next one? No. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah. And it okay. gets darker and darker. And so you want to pair, the the longer you cook, the darker, like, the meat you want it to go with. Does that make okay. sense? So if it gets oh. black, that's like gumbo. They use that a lot for gumbo. Oh, I And like what it. it is, obviously, is to thicken our gravy or whatever okay. we're adding so it to. So the thicker, that'll make it thicker It's our too. thickening. And they do this in a lot of soups, actually, too. Okay. And if you have a gluten problem, there's obviously gluten-free flours. flours. And sometimes I've even done it with white beans. So it'll still work with a gluten-free flour? Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. 
Okay. You're so smart. Okay, I'm going to add in this flour. Are you okay. ready? Yep. So I'm whisking as you're doing Whisk. it. Whisk. Yes. Yeah. We don't want it to burn. It will. You want to hold on to this handle? Yeah, I guess when you're better... whisking, you need some leverage, huh? Yeah, I need to use my and handle do your, a little better. Do your best to keep it on. On heat. The heat, okay. So what's going to happen is our our liquid is what we would like to be. Um, we don't want it cold, but we don't want it really, really hot either. Okay. So when it combines with that, we want it to be about warm, which is great because we've pulled it, we've let it sit for a minute from our turkey. He's he's like I'm, I'm smelling. Waiting. Waiting we're kind of getting peanut butter level, aren't we? No, we're not. No? Calm down. Is this sugar cookie level? It's going to take like, it's like a minute or two between each stage. Okay. Okay. All right. So stop the whisking okay. and pull some of it out because now it's hanging in your, in your whisk and it can't cook. <laughs> I guess so you just, just that way. It. Good job. Perfect. Okay. All right. Okay. So we just wait for a sec. Just wait. Just wait. I mean, you'll want to stir. <sighs> No. All right, let's talk about Get recentered. Man, who won that game on Thanksgiving <laughs> Day? Yeah, well, who played? This is a better question. Oh, no, it's who won, right? Yeah. <laughs> go, pack, go? Yeah, if you like to pack. I, we lived in Wisconsin for three years. Okay. And my daughter was in kindergarten in the time, and she's like, Mom, I need a jersey to go to school. Because, on game day. yeah, if you don't, yeah. you're like not one of it's them. It's a big deal. Yeah. And so that was really fun because okay. then we got involved and. That was fun. So it doesn't matter. Okay. I don't know. Should I say it doesn't matter who you root for? As long as you root for someone. As long as you're, yeah, as long Maybe as you're watching a game. It's fun. Yeah. As long as you're watching a game. <laughs> Joe's approval. Absolutely. Okay. Go ahead All right. and start okay? whisking again. Yeah. I'm you're really good. anxious. I want to do I it again. I can see that. Okay. There is some patience in cooking. So it's browning a little. That's okay. Yeah, that's you good. said that was fine. Do you want right? to smell again? See where yeah. you're at? Oh, this is popcorn kind of smelling to me. Yeah. So we're getting to the second stage. So which is, this is great for you know, turkey, chicken, anything like that. So we could go ahead and add it in if we want it lighter. Okay. And add in our, but so I, let's, let's go a little just further. Just a little bit further. Ooh, scary, we're going a little further. We're going a little further. Okay, perfect. All right. I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna pull this off the, the stove for a second. And that's good actually, because we want to. We okay. want to pull it off the stove and we're gonna add our liquid in. Okay, okay? so we do that right here? Right here. Okay. Okay, so while I do this, you whisk. I whisk. Like the wind. Okay, I'm whisking okay. like the wind. Okay. Ooh. I know. It's That's exciting. Okay, huh? It's like an action sequence. See? It's going to get thick for a second, and then we're going to want to put it back on the heat when we okay. get it all in. I'm going to reserve a little bit just to make just sure we have enough. Yep. Okay. Back, back on to the, the heat. heat. Perfect. And we want it oh, medium it high heat. smells good now. Well, and this is great because it's got all that flavor from the mm -hmm. turkey. So that's like, if you can use that, use it. So it's just so, gonna take a couple minutes to thicken up. Right, so just keep stirring. Mm -hmm. Keep stirring, and we can go and put it back on low heat, and then we can finish our other things. Oh, we could? We could actually walk away from it? We could walk away. Ooh. You're gonna have to add more liquid the, liquid the longer you wait. You know, right. if you're because it will it. thicken up right away? Yeah, uh, if you have like a insulated like carafe or something like that for you know your coffee or whatever, you can put your gravy in that and hold it for a couple hours. I never thought of that. Yeah, and so then you're, and then you, then it's warm, and then it's not. You can do that with hollandaise sauce. Oh, okay, we're getting too much, too far. Look at that, it looks beautiful. It's getting pretty thick. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Yeah. Let's bring this up here, and okay. I'm gonna show you the the correct way to know if your Gravy your is sauce done. is right. Okay, okay. I'm pull a spoon out of my fancy drawer here. Okay, so there's this thing the French call um, nappe. Nappe. What happens is when you get this spoon and you go across and it doesn't drip down the line. Then you're done. Then you're done. Nappe. How about that? Look at that. Wow. I think we should taste it. I think that's a it? great idea. Get a okay, yeah, for sure. Even though I don't have turkey hands. I don't mind the nappe spoon, but why not go for the, the not, good one? Not a nappy spoon. Ooh, probably hot. It's perfect. Is it good? Ooh, so this really is good. where you adjust your flavor too, right? As you go to do yeah. the turkey. A little more salt. Well, yeah, and that happens. That's yeah. good. That's good. It's not, not much. It's not bad. You didn't fail. No, it just needs a touch more. Is this pepper? It is pepper. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'd be good too, though. Yes. We can use some pepper, use some salts. It's perfect. So it's going to get thicker as long as it sits here. Mm -hmm. We know this about gravy, and that's why you were like, what? I can just leave it, but I would leave like a little bit of heat on that's it. That's why you need it in that crap. Yes. That would keep enough heat to just yes. keep it from thickening more. Okay. Exactly. So if you want, you know, we can just serve it here. Wow. It looks terrific. Isn't that gorgeous? And so easy! Do you see lumps? No, I don't there see any no lumps. There are no lumps! This is so much different than mom taught me. 
Yeah. And I'm so much happier to know how to do it the right way. That's good. We love mom. She had many good qualities. Yes, she did. But her gravy, <laughs> not gravy qualities. was not one of them. Yeah. That's okay. Grandma, on the other hand, I have to admit that the white gravy, yeah. you know, from the grease, uh -huh. that's good, good stuff. stuff. That looks at least as good as that to me. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's great. All hey, right. Hey, we're starting to get pressure on I our pressure cooker. Are. Let's check this out. All right. So we still have the button is kind of moving yeah. around a little bit. Oh. oh, it came up. Oh, that was like, oh. I mean, oh. it's unreal. Perfect. Okay, okay. So, so I'm bringing I'm it over to the table. My, nope. Okay. Relax. Okay. No, I'm sorry. You don't know. You got me so. excited. I know, I know, I know. So we got something eight else minutes. to do. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. What does this special eight minutes do? That's exactly the time it takes for that to be perfectly done. And then after that. <laughs> how do you know that? Stacey, how do you know? It's chemistry. Okay. We can't get into that too much because okay. we got to keep it simple. But the, the smart people. <laughs> that, that, that made the pressure that cooker. pressure cooker yes. said you go eight minutes. Eight minutes, yeah. And really, I haven't had a problem with it. Ever. Okay. Like, you just go by time, it's great. Right. I, I have a pressure cooker class coming up in December, actually. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So it's fine. It'll definitely be something you would want to check out. So we want to, actually, sorry, we should tell this about this. We want to yeah. make sure that the temperature on it Okay, because we were keep, on high. Is keeping this pressure up. We can keep it down a little bit, so probably medium heat. Okay. For those so eight minutes. just brought it back just a little touch? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. We're going to have potatoes. All right. And we've got gravy to go with it. It's everything you need except for one thing. <laughs> I'm not eating any meal if I don't know that there's a great dessert at the end. Absolutely. And we've got a pretty good one. We do. And we have we have a special guest. Yeah. Lisa's going to be here. Yes. From the Prairie Schooner. Yes. I can't wait. And we're going to make a squash pie. Yeah. It's going to be great. Oh, man. I've never heard of this. And I'm just, I, I'm still a little incredulous. Slightly incredulous because I love squash. Yeah. But is a pie? I'm not so sure. But I can't wait to find out. So, and I hope you can't wait to find out either. So continue to join us after these commercial messages right here on Park City Television. We're in the kitchen. We're at Einstein's Kitchen outside of the studio spending some time with our friend Stacy Springer. We'll be back with more right after this.